Hi, Tommy Van Buren here. We're here to tell you all about this great product I designed together with Philips, the M1X. You're able to DJ everywhere you want in one system. Really cool way to start to learn how to DJ or if you are already a professional DJ and you just want to have a nice little DJ set up to DJ at your house or in the garden or on the beach. You don't even need power. If you have eight D cells, you can let it run for almost five hours. So what you see here is a, is a controller uh, and I currently have an iPad mini connected to it. You can also connect an iPhone 5 or an iPhone, anything that has a lightning connector. The stuff that I normally use in my DJ setup are available for you on the surface here. So uh, there's a power button, there's a master volume, uh, there's an EQ section. Uh, so these are basically the two turntables, uh, if you want to call it that. These turn turntables uh, correspond with the uh, software and uh, the software that I have installed is uh, by algorithm and you can select tracks and that's where it all begins of course uh, in the software so basically all the tracks that I play come from the uh, iPad. So I have the two volume uh, faders here I have a cross fader uh, so I can fade between the two players I have a tempo slider because um, DJing normally is you have one track uh, that you play and you use your headphones to cue up the second or the other deck uh, for the next track that you want to play. So I have the headphone volume here. Uh, I have the, uh, the play buttons, of course. Uh, there's even a sync functionality. So if you're, not, if you're not really good at or familiar with syncing up records, uh, the software can help you. And it's instantly available here. Um, and there's a jog mode. There's, there's two modes uh, that you can use. Uh, there's a quick skip uh, functionality and there's sort of a vinyl mode. Um, so I'll just start by uh, presenting that to you. So this is sort of the, the functionality of the deck. Here's the uh, interaction with the, uh, the software. So it's almost like a virtual turntable. And I can even zoom in on the graphic representation by pressing this button and it gives me the, uh, the possibility to queue up the record exactly from the beginning. Let's start this track. I can control the sound by uh, the, the EQ section that I have here. And in the software you can see that the, the actual turntable is running. I'm going to select the second track that I'm going to mix in. So I'm looking in my, in my library and here's the second track that's, that I want to mix in the, the track that's currently playing. It sounds something like this. So this is what I normally would do on headphones. I'm queuing it up to the first, the first beat, press set. So now it's ready to be played. So when the right moment is there in the, in the track, I will start mixing in the second track. And if I want to look really cool with my friends, there's also some effects that I can use on the track that's currently playing. Here you have in the software and effects section, for example, you have effects like echo. Whatever you're doing, you can record your mix. So while you're mixing live in front of an audience, press the re record button over here. And whatever I'm doing, the volume changes, the EQs, whatever, it's recording into a separate audio file. And you can even, if you're done with mixing, play your mix that you've just created. Remove the cover, switch on your Bluetooth on your phone or on your uh, iPad, make sure you stream the audio to the speaker and have your mix that you just created. Take a soda, sit with your friends and look cool. One of the other things I think is really cool about the M1X is that uh, you're able to daisy chain um, this to another one. Unhook your iPad, switch off the uh, equipment, get rid of your headphones, there you go. That's the controller. Flip it over. You can even sit on it, it's that solid. And here, if you can see, there's an auxiliary in. So if your friend is playing, just connect it into the auxiliary in, you have another set of speakers.